There's a cherry garden very close to here, standing there with my back to the library on the banks of the river, amid the American linden, the cherry blossoms, and the azaleas. The bright pink, the light pink, and the green. I spotted a wild daffodil. The yellow pierced through the pink and green and took me back to the island of Majuli. Suddenly, the houses around started to grow stills. The traffic noises became calm, and the Potomac became alive with the son of Brahma, the Brahmaputra. This afternoon, as the dancing monks of Assam and the Hotria Dance Company transformed this auditorium into a kirtanghar, a prayer hall, maybe the houses will grow stills. Maybe the traffic will be a lot calmer. And maybe, just maybe, the Potomac will come alive with the undercurrent of Brahma. Maybe the traffic noises will immerse into the base of the drums that will be played in Krishna's devotion. My name is Madhusmita Bora. I'm the co-director and co-founder of Hotria Dance Company. I grew up um, listening to the sounds and rhythms of Krishna devotion along the banks of the Brahmaputra in Assam, India. I'm now a resident of Philadelphia, but I have a deep connection to these monks and I travel very frequently to Assam, spending time with them, documenting and learning this devotional art form. It has been my life's dream to present the monk and their divine art in the United States. So we are truly blessed here today. Uh, we will begin our performance with um, an invocation and a prelude. Uh, we call it the Purbaranga in Indian classical dance form, where we will purify the performance space with percussion, calls the drums and the cymbals.
Hutradhari Nas, the dance of the Hutradhar, or storyteller, is a blend of pure dance and mime, and has its origins in the Ankhya Bhavana, the one-act operatic plays, written by Srimanta Hankardev, to which Hatriya dance traces its origins. A Hutradhar both directs a play and keeps the audience informed about plots and characters as the action unfolds. In this dance, the hymn and prose invoke the blessings of the supreme deity, Krishna. Rag, Mahur and Sarang, Tal, Tukani, Sutkala and Ektal. The text for this piece was written by Srimanta Hankardev.
That was Dr. Bhavananda Barbaran, the lead artist of the Dancing Monks of Assam. The next piece that we're presenting is by Hotchia Dance Company. It's called Issa Bandana. This work is an invocation praising the flute playing Krishna and it marvels at the strength and beauty of the Dark Lord whose complexion is like rain clouds, eyes like lotus petals. The dancers offer flowers from the heart to the Lord bedecked in pearls and diamonds. Rag, Mahur, Tal, Sutkala, Text, Honkordeeps, Kalya Daman.
Ramdani, it's like a flower vase as an offering to the Lord and it showcases the Tandav or the rigorous and Lasya, the graceful movements of pure dance, the pure technique of Hatriya. Many of these movements are at least 400 years old. This particular work uh, was rearranged by um, Sri Narayan Borwa. Rag, Hindura, Tal, Sutta. Performers, the dancing monks of Assam.
Dahavatar, the ten incarnations of Krishna. This will be presented by Hotria Dance Company. This is our last piece for this afternoon. This dance was taught to my dance partner Purna and me by Dr. Bhavananda Barbayan, our master artist. According to the Kirtan of Sri Manta Hankar Dev, Krishna has 24 incarnations. This dance song refers to 10 of those prominent ones. Matsya, the fish. Kurma, the turtle. Baraha, the wild boar. Narahingha, half man, half lion. Bamana, the diminutive Brahmin. Puruhuram, the ex-wielding Brahmin. Holiram, the tiller. Ram, the just ruler. Buddha, the enlightened one. And Kalki, the vengeful horseman who marks the end of our current aeonic cycle. Tal, Ektal. Text, Kirtan Gokha of Hankardim and Nam Gokha of Madhavdim.
From the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C.